All right, here we go. I'm going after the Scorpion King again. There he is. He's a bad mamma jamma. All right, I got the Fiercer on, which doubles my elemental power. I've got 110 rounds on the freeze thing. All right, I've got 50 extra life. I'm not quite at 150. And uh, here we go. Hello everybody, I'm a rainbow. And this was my 10th attempt to beat the Scorpion King. I had lost to him nine times before this and hadn't even made it to him a few times as well because I couldn't get past a couple of the boss levels at one time or another. And honestly, this was not the best gun that I ever had either. I did find out uh, through testing, I think every gun there is, that the ice gun, the one that has the ice ammunition in it, the ice crystal, is your best bet for ammo. It gives you as much as possible. I had 110 rounds in my weapon for this one. So, and the other thing I did was I took one of the gun stocks that gave me a high fire rate. So basically I could just squeeze the trigger and those icy bullets would come out. And you can see I am tagging him a lot. He has got a lot of damage, but cumulative, it was taking its toll. The other thing that I had figured out that I don't know how I'd missed it was that I needed to dash. And basically when you move, if you press down on that thumbstick that you're moving with, it runs you forward five or six no. paces, you know, in the game. And I had completely missed that in all my previous things. And I finally figured it out this time and it paid good dividends because every time you see it go red like that that's the scorpion king jumping at you and that's where he's going to land and you got to get out get out of his way and before i just wasn't moving fast enough but the dash made it possible the other thing is you see those yellow boulder looking things that come flying off but those hit you they do damage so and uh, i i was dying to those before i never even realized it so he's got the uh, acid. If you walk through the acid, you'll take damage. If the boulder hits you, you'll take damage. When he starts spraying the light from his um, pincers there, you got to run from that. And then he summons the little guys. They didn't give me too much trouble other than the fact that I had to be aware of where they were and try and kill them. I used those columns quite a bit to, to get behind for cover. And a lot of times I just dashed by. I had, for my orb, I had the flame orb. It does damage. It kind of pulses. And that's good for keeping things away from you. Um, it's hard to target, especially Scorpion King, because he moves so much. But uh, I, was having a, I was having a great time, and I was right on the edge. I, this is the, at this point, this is as much damage as I had ever done him before. I had one gun with bouncy and... Uh, in it before and uh, the electric charge and had done about this much damage when I when I died to him. You, you know all that flying, those boulders, trying to dodge all of that stuff, the little scorpion guys. Notice I just dropped the uh, flame thing kind of at my feet and let, let that do some damage. And the biggest lesson I took away from this is move. You just gotta move. And that dash makes it possible. Before, I wasn't using it. And so you need to make sure you, you dash, you work on that. And uh, I definitely will. I don't know how I missed it. It's right there in the tutorial. It says you depress on the thumbstick, but I just uh, was not used to doing it. At this point, I'm, I'm getting hopeful because I've been running around this whole time dodging everything I can. Every time it goes red around me, I'm like, I just dash out of it. I, I'm almost not paying attention where I'm going. I just make sure I get out of that. And you can dash consecutively. It just doesn't take you, it just doesn't take you very far, but it's far enough to get out of that area of effect where he lands. And if he, if he, do, if he does land on you in that red, you'll just die. It, he does massive damage. So, all right. I'm, I'm getting there. I, I'm getting very excited at this point. I think I'm going to make it. I was, my adrenaline was pumping. Yeah, I know. It's just a VR game, but, oh, and uh, it was, it was fun, especially when I've been trying all this time. Uh, 
So, but I definitely figured out that the ice crystals are your best bet, no matter what gun you're shooting, because you get so many, uh, so many shots, you know, and tagging them. Oh yes, oh yes, yes. he I went did down. It. I did it. <laughs> oh, I'm still excited. I beat the Scorpion uh, King. I'm a little old for I this, did but it. I don't think Thank so. Thank you. Now the question Thank is, you. what's next? Was there oh. another level? Oh. I'm, uh, I'm ready to it. find out. I did it. A lot of running away there. Holy schmoly. What happens now? Hey, chapter one. Good. What's chapter two? To be continued. Oh, that was a letdown. But, you know, this oh. is the game's free at this point. So, and it has kept me occupied for hours. And I, I will go back again because I got to, I keep trying different combinations of guns. So, I hope you enjoyed that. I certainly did. Y'all be good. I'm a rainbow. Take care. Bye bye.